Welcome to another episode of Ken's Dumb Art Reviews. Today we are looking at one of Pablo Picasso's work. Works done in 1943. And, um... I watched a documentary at work a few weeks ago about Pablo Picasso, and the document, the, the first... It was, it was an hour-long documentary, and the first 15 minutes or so was specifically about this particular piece of work. And this is painted from his Paris window in 1943 during the German occupation of Paris. Of course, the Germans occupied Paris from 1941 1940 1940 until 1944 a four year long a four year long occupation um Paris was spared the horrors of the second world war Hitler had a real admiration for the city. He loved the city. Of course, in our previous episode, we talked about Hitler's artwork. Hitler was a fan of art. Uh, Hitler loved Paris. It was by far one of his favorite European cities. And when the Allies invaded France in 1944... Hitler evacuated his forces from Paris and turned it over to the Allies without, well, I was going to say without a shot fired, but that's not entirely true. Uh, free French forces under Charles de Gaulle did engage German forces within the city of Paris, but really the the conflict within the city was minimal compared to the rest of France, a lot of which was devastated by uh, conflict between Allied and Axis powers within the country. Um, so, again, th this painting, this particular painting, was painted in 1943, which is at least a year before liberation. And what's interesting about this painting was Picasso simply sat up in front of his window and painted what he saw. And, you know, Picasso's paintings are traditionally somewhat surrealist. They call it cubism or whatever but this painting in particular is fairly realistic at least compared to his other paintings it shows you a relatively empty room and a view out a window onto the rooftops of Paris and here in the foreground we see a radiator. And the radiator was put there as kind of a remind, you know, it definitely had, had meaning. The radiator during the German occupation never would have been turned on. It's something that would have remained uh, without power. Um, the Germans deprived occupied regions of energy. They didn't have their boilers running. They didn't have around-the-clock electricity. They didn't have um, the day-to-day -day comforts that they had grown accustomed to, being the capital of France. And, and France, prior to World War II, was a relatively prosperous nation. 
they had um, they they definitely had a strong military contrary to popular belief you know a, a lot of people today make fun of of the French defense but the French forces were arrayed along the German border and of course the Germans invaded France across the Belgian border they violated Belgian neutrality and invaded France um, in, in a direction they weren't prepared to defend from because Belgium was neutral at the time. Uh, they were trying to avoid conflict with anyone, specifically Germany, and the rationing caused a lot of hardships for the people of Paris. Now, during World War II, Picasso was already famous. He was already well-known. We have stories of American soldiers who participated in the liberation of Paris rushing to Picasso's apartment to meet him, to shake his hand, to see his artwork. You know, he was well-known. He had, compared to a lot of people, specifically the 50 million people who died during the war, a relatively easy war. But he existed through that time. And in his artwork here, this specific image, we see a man's existence through rationing, through a period of four years where he would not have had access to daily consumer goods. Consumer goods were rare. Um, but because he was famous, he, he, you know, he had some level of income. He, w he painted throughout the war. He made, he made a lot of paintings during the war. No doubt some of them were passed off to the Germans in exchange for uh, consumer goods and currency. He was able to dine every day at local restaurants. But, by and large... We see here a painting of a bare apartment out a window with a radiator in the foreground that was never turned on. He was cold. When I look at this painting, I feel the coldness that he experienced. And, you know, although I'm not, I'm not a fan of his artwork overall, I mean, I'm not a fan of any artwork, but I find his artwork to be overrated. And we'll, we'll get to that in future episodes. But I really honestly appreciate this work because... Because in my limited understanding of art, in my limited understanding of Picasso, I, I understand what he was going for, through here. I understand what he was going for. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this piece an 8 out of 10. It's going to get points off for being... You know, like this windowsill looks weird. The angular perspective is a bit off here. But I like artwork that's realistic. Um, there's no there's no running from that fact. But it's still it's still getting an eight out of ten, which I think is the highest 
uh, rank that, that a piece of art has gotten so far on this dumb show. And I must remind you, this show is very dumb. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But here we are. Pablo Picasso, 1943, view from his apartment window, 8 out of 10.